Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and today we have a Timu order. Now I am, this was sent to me for review. So we're going to see what the clothes are like from Timu. Now a lot of people have been getting other things, household products, you know, tchotchkes, different stuff like that. I wanted to do the clothing because you know me, I love the clothes. I want to see if it's worth the price, if y'all think it's a good quality, all that good stuff. I picked a few things. Um, oh gosh, I cannot think. Y'all, I'm having some issues. I cannot find a email that they were supposed to send me saying my order number. So I can't really look and see, you know, what everything was. I'm going to try to look it up on the web page as we go along. So just bear with me. This may be a train wreck. Um, if you don't know what Timu is, they have everything. They've got clothing. They've got kitchen stuff. They've got cute decoration stuff. They've got nail stuff, hair stuff, anything you can really think of. Stuff for your pets. Uh, I went more for the fashion on this order. If you want to see more orders in the future, just let me know. Comment below. Um, I did do a little research into the background of this company. It, it was opened recently. Uh, I think last year it's based in Boston, Massachusetts, but they do have the sister company that is out of China. So that's where they get most of their, you know, connections, where their merchandise comes from. I do think it ships from the United States, so you do get it pretty quick. A lot of times they'll run specials where you can get free shipping or, you know, credit for this or doing this or that. So always a pretty good deal. We'll, we'll find out if we like it or not. But let's let's move on to the clothing because yeah, I'm a rambling. I think I have a code that'll give you some money off. I'll put that over here and hopefully I'll get a discount if you decide to use Timu. I'll be right back. All right, so my first piece is this solid sleeveless zip back jumpsuit. Uh, I just wanted some casual stuff to hang around the house, clean, be cool in the summer. Um, it is a casual belted short sleeve wide leg jumpsuit in women's clothing, $11.59. Now it does look like it might need a little ironing after all that shipping. And it is a very thin, almost um, like cheesecloth type material really is what it feels like to me. It does have this cute little belt detail in the front. They have pockets, little hem down here at the bottom that I think might drive me crazy because I don't think it would stay. I think it would need to be ironed to stay properly. Spaghetti strap top, you know, it's got the V that I like. It's got the zip in the back and let's see if there is any kind of label in here. Of course there's no brand. I'm hoping for wash instructions somewhere. Ah, here we go. It is an extra large, it's 100% polyester, wash with light colors, machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, do not bleach, tumble dry, low, low iron if needed. Dry cleanable in general cycle made in China. Okay, so yeah, I figured this would be an easy throw on, run around the house without losing too much style. The quality is low. It's not super great, but I kind of expected that. So let's go on to the next piece. I honestly have no idea. Is this a skirt? This is, I think this is a skirt. <laughs> Ooh, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> but this one is really soft really soft extra large let me see if I can figure out what it is this is the basic high-waisted elastic pencil skirt sexy bodycon mini skirt solid skirt for all seasons in women's clothing I got it because it was three dollars and nineteen cents I was trying to find that little bit of extra to you know, spend the amount of money that they gave me, which was $50. So I'd spent right under $50 on all of this stuff. It's cute. It's soft. I don't know that I can wear it, y'all. I mean, maybe as a slip, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll try it on. 
good gracious, we may have to pray for me. <laughs> okay, next is this dress. I had a, um, oh, it's a jumpsuit. It's a jumpsuit. That's why, I, yeah, I was in, I was in a jumpsuit mood that day. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so this is the Summer Women's Clothing Printing Sleeveless High Waisted Casual Jumpsuit. $19.60 is what I paid for it. It does feel polyester, but at least it feels soft. It does have this crisscross front over the top I'm a little concerned about. And long, flowy leggies. Cute little pattern. Zip in the back with a little elastic as well. It says that the brand is Chic Me. C-H-I-C-M-E. It is in an extra large. Let's see what the wash instructions are. 97 polyester 3 spandex. Wash with light colors, hand wash cold, line dry in the shade. Okay. I just thought this would be fun and cute. You know, we'll, we'll find out if it fits. <laughs> okay. This is the last piece of clothing, but I do have a couple more items. If I can figure out which way's up. Hang on. What? What, what are we? Okay. <laughs> this is another one of those things that I was just feeling a little fun. <laughs> Look, it's a skirt under here. All right, no. It's a romper under here, but it has a long skirt to it. Y'all, we were just talking about high low and how it was kind of out, but does that count as this? I don't know. I thought it would be fun just to try on. Look, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I can't find this one on the website. Um, I have typed in everything I could think of. Romper dress, romper dress, floral dress, floor romper, um, romper duster, everything I could possibly think of. And I can't find this one. So, we'll try it on. I just, if I can find it later, I will let you know how much it costs. I'll tell you it's under $20. Um, I thought it was a cute pattern. It's just, it's got that duster thing. Or, you know, it's a romper. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Extra large is 100% polyester, hand wash cold, line dry in the shade, do not iron. So, we'll try it on. <laughs> we'll see what we think. Um, the last two items I did order were nail stickers. Um, let me see. Do they have names on them? No, they just say made in China. Yeah, these might be fun to get to. They were only, they weren't much. Like 10 cents, 70 cents, somewhere around in there. I got this cute little design. And these look like they're just white frosted. So... Let me see if I can find them. I'll try to find them later on and let you know. But it, it's it's one set of nail stickers. It does come with a little nail file in both of them. They have all kinds of different sets on there. Anything from, you know, just individuals, stuff for your toes, which I'm very interested in. Um, press on nails, all kinds of stuff. Very inexpensive. Yeah. Sorry, I can't give you more details. It's not been my day, y'all. It's just not been my day. <laughs> First, I recorded some without sound. Um, some lotion was delivered to me everywhere. It had busted on the inside. Oh my goodness, I can't even start. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today, and then I'm going to try these clothes on. We'll come back and we'll talk about them afterwards. I hope you press all those lovely YouTube buttons. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing to my channel is free, and I really do appreciate it if you do that. Share with your friends. Press the notification bell. And if you want to donate to the cause, which is revamping this room, making it into a proper studio, there are two ways to donate. You can press the super thanks, which is like giving a tip through YouTube, or you can go to buymeacoffee.com. I'm under Unbox by G, and you can leave me a tip by buying me a coffee. Y'all, I'll see you back in a minute.
So this is my outfit for today. I am wearing this West Key dress I got from Wantable, some Tuscany shoes I got from Amazon, my jewelry. Where did I get this? It may have been from Wantable. I'll put an envelope in the description box. And yeah, my watch, my Fitbit. That's my outfit of the day. Let's try these clothes on. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh my good gracious. It, this was not made for the big t-shirt bras that I wear or my girls or something. Every time I pull up, it is pulling down here. It is definitely too short. And these are not adjustable. Please, please ignore my strappies. Um, these are not adjustable. So you'd have to either hem them up or do something to get it a tighter. But if I was shorter in the waist, maybe that would work. But it's still, it's still ridiculous fun. Um, I like the pattern on it. I think that is cute. It's just this top part is not working for me. I'm going to go try on something else before I bust out laughing and all my neighbors see. Because, yeah, I got my windows open today. <laughs> oh, good gracious. The things I do. Next outfit, better than the first, but I can't say it's super comfortable. Still feels like it's pulling a little tight in the crotch to get up to me. This kind of full feels a little weird. I can't quite figure out where this is supposed to go to make it look right. Um, a little high underneath the arms as well, but I could probably make this one work a lot better than I could the other one. What do y'all think? Woo, you can see my no-show underwear through it very clearly. <laughs> Underclothes might be demanded for this one. I don't know, y'all. We may be trying out their return policy. What do we think? Good gracious. I don't know. I did play with this and managed to get that looking a little better. I don't hate it as much now. Mm. Still, no pockets. But it's soft and fun and airy. Big wide legs. What do we think? This may be my favorite so far. And I'd probably never wear it because I would feel like it's too short. But it is comfortable. If you are a mini skirt type person, you might like this one. Because it's soft. It's comfortable. You don't feel like it's on. The band is nice and secure. I mean, it's a mini skirt. You could wear it as high or as low as you wanted. But it does feel like, you know, it would come up in the back on me. Hey, no, no. I think it would be cute. I think you could make it look cute with an outfit. Um, I could throw on a denim jacket or I could even dress it up with a black blazer or something. I just put on my tank top with it. What do we think of the skirt? The three so three dollar and something one has been my favorite so far. <laughs> Let's try on that last romper. Y'all, I just got too much belly <laughs> for these things. I, it just sticks out to me. Uh, and too much up here. I had a hard time getting it zipped by myself. I thought I was going to have to call my bestie and have her come get it zipped just because my arms don't go up that far. I mean, I think it's cute. I, I don't know that I'd feel comfortable wearing it out. Maybe if I had a denim jacket over the top of it, that might make me feel a little better in it. But I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Getting jumpsuits and rompers. Why didn't I get some pretty dresses? <sighs> what do we think, y'all? Was this one a thumbs down, a thumbs up, and a thumbs down, or two thumbs up? Y'all let me know. Comment below. I'm going to put my dress back on and let's just talk about this stuff. <laughs> what did we think of a Timu, y'all? I, I don't think I did them justice personally. I think I ordered the wrong things for me. Um, I, I don't know. I, you know, I get on these weird kicks sometimes and I was just looking for a romper or a jumpsuit and that's what I ordered and didn't, I mean, they're so hard to get because they're either too short, um, this way or they don't fit this way I mean it's just it was just that that was my problem I mean I could probably make this one work it was a little hard to zip but I think it would look cute if you put you know a khaki 
top with it um, blazer like denim type jacket look or with it it might need a little ironing which is not always my favorite thing I think you get free returns with Timu so I'm gonna try that and see what happens uh, this one was the one that I thought was the most comfortable that looked the cutest on me but will I keep it I'm not real sure um, I don't wear pencil skirts, mini skirts very often, and y'all could definitely see the belly sticking out on that one, so I, I'm not sure about that either. I, I need y'all's opinions. Um, this was cute. I'm kind of thinking about keeping it, even though it's a little higher than I like here, and it felt a little tight over here. I wonder if I wear a different bra with it, if it would make a difference, because right now this one, you know, I've got it around my neck and it is so uncomfortable. Um, but I like the pattern. I thought it was cute. It was a little see-through, so I probably need to wear, you know, some kind of nude short or something underneath it, like a bicycle short or something like that, just so I wouldn't be showing my boosie in my underwear, because I was wearing like a pale nude kind of pink undie and I could still see it <laughs> so that's that's my complaint about this one and it is very polyester but it's a soft polyester I'll say that for it and this one was too tight it was too weird <laughs> um it would there was just not enough of it I mean there's plenty of the duster part but you know it just needed to be a little longer here for me to be comfortable with it and I wish these were adjustable um, so what do y'all think of my Timu haul? Um, very interesting. Like I said, I do have a code I think will give you a discount. Where is that at? Joy8253. I do have a link below if you just want to click on that link. Y'all, thank you so very much for bearing with me today. I know it's been a goofy ride. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.